Hi, today I'll show you how to make uh, aloo posto bhaja. This is a typical Oriya cuisine. It's very easy to make. So follow me. So first we need some potatoes. I'm taking four potatoes. We need to peel the potatoes first. So let's peel them. I'm using this peeler. After you have peeled the potatoes, you have to cut them fine. So I'll show you typical size. This should be a typical size of potato. So now that all the potatoes are cut, we will now cut a big piece of onion. We need a really big piece of onion for those potatoes. And make sure you don't cry while cutting the onion. So the way to cut, cut the onions are not like too fine or not too thick. It should be like this size of onion. Okay. Now that we have cut onions and potatoes, we are happy we're done. Now we'll have to fry these on a frying pan. So once everything is ready, uh, you switch on the stove. The stove is switched on. I'm going to use this pan, a non-stick pan for this. And in Oriya cooking, you need to use mustard oil. Mustard oil is the most. So I add mustard oil. That should be good. Then after that, um, I can add all the onions now first. I'm going to add all the onions. While the onion are getting ready, we'll cut some green chili. Now I add the green chilies. Green chilies gives that gives that smell uh, when it get added when it gets added with the onion. So now I can hear the onions getting fried. I wait for some time. I don't need to wait till it gets you know, brown, but I'll wait for a minute till it starts get uh, starts cooking. I can also start adding the spices I want to add. So this is um, red chili flakes. This is dried red chili flakes. As you can see, I'm not using any measurement. I'm just using whatever I feel is good for me. I, I added that. After that, I'm going to add some black pepper. In the mustard oil, I also sometimes add some mustard seed just to give it this mustardy flavor a little bit more. Then I can also, I can already start smelling it. You can't smell, but I can smell it. It's already smelling good. So just now I added a small piece of cinnamon. 
you can add one glow that's not needed but I like glow then I try it a little bit more Now I can add some cumin seeds. I like a lot of cumin seed in my food. When it gets done a little bit, I'm going to add posto. Posta is nothing but poppy seed. I'm going to add some posta. It's not going to give you high. Posta in poppy seed in mustard oil tastes really good. I'll get it fried a little bit. Before I add the potatoes, when I can smell that the poppy seed is getting uh, fried a little bit, so now it's a good good time to add the potatoes. I add all the potatoes. And I mix it well. One important thing I have forgotten is turmeric. Turmeric is a must in Indian cooking and especially also Oriya cooking. Turmeric is a must. I add a lot of turmeric. Once I add the turmeric, now I can once again let it fry and make sure that it doesn't get burned. So I have to stir it constantly. Oh, I've also forgotten salt. So I can add salt now. Salt according to your taste. Now, probably it's a good time to add some water to it. I'll add some water, just a little bit. I'll add some water. At this stage, you can add a little bit of garam masala if you want. I add a little bit of garam masala sometimes, so I add a little bit of garam masala now. Then I cover it and I let it cook for maybe five minutes. You'll see. Now let's see if it's done or not. We open the lid and I try to place one of the potatoes. Yeah, look at this stuff. Now we can switch up the stove and you can have a look at it. This is how a alu posto bhaja looks like. More recipes are coming soon.